and then my entire group are arguing about it. I don't get why he's being such a dick. It's not like it's going to affect our grades or anything, you know? Mm. You're not even listening. No, I am. You're talking about your lecture and not letting you choose your own project. Just because you can quote the conversation back does not make it okay to ignore me. So I was not ignoring you. Of course not. I was trying to talk to you about my mum so losing her job. Can I'm you look at me, girl? How's that supposed to make right? me feel? Noah, fuck off, Tim. Angelica. You guys were cute, but then again, so were we. Did you do this when we broke up too? You know, the whole Mr. Stroppy and why? What did I do? Wait, no, you broke up with me. That wasn't my fault. Really? Well, you were my first proper boyfriend, Tim, and my first started to ignore me. Well, I needed my space, you were too clingy. We were young and I really liked you. Hello, Tim. <sighs> What's wrong with you now? I don't know. I just don't want it to be over. And what makes you think that it's over? Well, that's the same feeling, feeling it tells you when a relationship's over. I mean, the girls just go off me. <laughs> You're such an idiot. It's you. Of course it's you. you. mean it's me? I wasn't some high school girlfriend whose innocence you took. We were together for two years, Tim. <sighs> we lived together. And gradually you just stopped being there. Well, I don't think that's entirely you my fault. You start off so. well, and then you completely emotionally neglect us. When we dangle a breakup in front of you, you just take it. You give up far no, too no, easily. We broke up because you cheated on me. I needed something. It had been months since we'd done anything together. It was a busy time. You were never too busy for your stupid friends. You never took my feelings into consideration. L like when? Like when you snuck out of my sister's wedding to go to a flat party? Give up these little bollocks. What was it your mum used to say? Wait! Look, just don't call again in the want to see you. <laughs> oh, look at my big handsome boy. All the girls love my big beautiful boy, don't they? <laughs> Now, Tim, what does Mummy always say about relationships? No, that a relationship is like a pet cat. Once it's dead, we don't keep it in the house. Good. Sorry. I 
really am. I want us to work, so I'm going to try harder. Forgive me. I'm so glad you phoned, actually. Um, I tried talking to my sister about it, but you know what she's like. <laughs>